Salutations, YouTubians! I have straight hair. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. I'm dizzy now. If I have it out, it'll annoy me. Welcome to the Friday thing, the show where we race turtles and eat the winner. Why? Because turtles are slow and not meant to win races. Thus, that winning turtle is a danger to the universe as we know it. My name is... Today's show is about a terrible affliction that everyone at one point in their lives has to deal with. I saw it happen. Not even three days ago. Most scenarios go like this. Ha! <sighs> Been working two hours straight without saving once. Now it's time to save. No, no, what's going on? No, where's my work? Where's my work? No! It's... The blue screen of death! Yes, it is the main danger to any computer nerd, geek, dork, or user of any other kind. The blue screen of death, or sometimes known as a computer crash, is when a computer tries to do too much at one time and basically has a nervous breakdown, a heart attack, and lung failure all at the same time. When the blue screen of death occurs, the computer itself is not the only victim. The owner or the user is left with scars as well. Computer Crash Syndrome, or CCS, has primarily five stages. One, confusion. Two, anger. Three, shock. Four, repair. Five, conclusion. Today I'll be going through these five stages so that you, the computer user, can be more aware of the blue screen of death. Stage one, confusion. This stage is only normally for the first encounter with the blue screen of death. After this, you normally go straight to stage two. This stage looks something like this. You're confused because your computer is no longer responding to you. And you've tried everything. Turning your computer on and off. Trying to fix a loose connection. There's like a cable here, maybe? Even hitting it with a sock. She said it. And yet still nothing happens. So you begin to panic. It's been five minutes. Since I haven't had a computer, I don't know if I'm gonna make. Ah! What was that? Which leads you into stage two. Stage two: anger. You're pissed off, and understandably so. Your computer has now ceased to work altogether. This stage varies from person to person. From the person who is mildly annoyed, I'm mildly annoyed, to a full bout of rage, which includes throwing the computer out the window or hitting it with a blunt instrument. <laughs> You didn't really think I was going to hit my own computer, did you? Ha! Ah, no, no. It's best in this situation to calm the hell down. Thank you. If you were to destroy your computer now, you'd be simply adding insult to injury. Now that your full fury has been unleashed, you move on to stage three. Stage three. Shock. Reality has set in. Your computer is unusable. You are now left without one. For some, this is just a minor inconvenience. Non-virtual solitaire. You got any eights? And your card was this! The Nine of Diamonds. But for others, it's a big deal. This stage of shock again varies from person to person. Some eat. Eases the pain. <laughs> Some cry. <laughs> While others go into the fetal position. <laughs> it is important in this stage that you remember that as dear as your computer was to you, that there are more computer fishies in the digital sea. Once you've got over the initial shock, you go into stage four. Stage four, repair. It's at this point you're at the stage where you say, how can I fix this? Some try to fix it themselves. Hammer? <laughs> Drill? <laughs> Although this is more likely to cause further problems. Others, on the other hand, knowing their cranial limitation, call upon the service of others. What did you do to this thing? Oh, what? In some cases, the repair process can actually look like something out of a hospital drama.
Doctor, give it to me straight. Is she going to make it? I'm sorry. We did all we could, but we couldn't save him. The blue screen had taken over its entire hard drive. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. This stage highly influences the next and final stage. Stage 5. Conclusion. Has your computer been repaired? Does it hold a glimpse of recovery? Is the blue screen of death gone? If you answered no to all of these questions, then you and your computer are officially screwed. And it is more than likely that it is your fault. You murderer. You overloaded that poor unsuspecting device. You have no one to blame but yourself. But in our last thought, you must understand one thing about the blue screen of death. It may have retreated for now, but sometime in your lifetime, maybe tomorrow, maybe years from now, it will return to complete its blue purpose. Until next time, save and be safe.